What's up everybody, Daniel Sun. I am here today to tell you about laboratory perfumes. Um, and as some of y'all, some of my friends across the pond say, laboratory perfumes. So I'm here today to talk to you about this. But before I do, Tell me what your fragrance of the day is. I'll tell you what mine is. Of course, right now it is, as you probably know, it is called Samphire by Laboratory Perfumes. Um, I've already wore this several times. As you can see, it's starting to get pretty low. But I wanted to give a bunch of really good wearings on this before I did my review. Um, so I'm wearing that now, and I decided to do something else tonight, something a little bit different. I got Mugler Cologne about eight months ago, I guess, and one reason I got one reason I got that is because there was so much hype in Fragcom in Fragrance Land about Mugler Cologne. So I was like, I got to get this. So I ordered it. I think like two days, two day like the express shipping or something and I was so excited so I got it one day and I put it on and I was like, it smells like soap. But I waited because I know it takes some fragrances a while to develop so I waited and several hours later it was like, this smells like liquid soap. So I've been wearing it for eight months now, and every time I wear it, it smells like liquid soap, and that's it. It smells like a bar of soap. So I decided to do something about it. This I've had this for like a long time, um, and I transferred some of it over into another thing for work, just to if I want to smell like soap or something, but. <laughs> I've been, I've been doing something. I've been ordering a lot of pure essential oils because I want to be the best reviewer that I possibly can. So I'm constantly trying to fill my head with knowledge and I'm trying to develop my nose and train my nose to be able to pick up specific notes in a fragrance that I'm, especially the ones that I'm not familiar with. So I'm constantly trying to be the best reviewer I possibly can. So I've been, I've been buying a lot of pure essential oils, um, like one note essential oils, so I can be able to have my reviews to be more accurate. I can tell you better what exactly what I smell and when I smell it and what I smell. So, I actually already have had, or already have, um, I have organic, pure organic essential oil um, from, this is from Madagascar, this Madagascar um, vetiver. So I heard all these people talk about the great note in Mucular Cologne, and out of nine months that I've been wearing this, I've never been able to pick up any kind of vetiver whatsoever all this is to me is a bar of soap in liquid form that's it so i decided since all these people are talking about the great vetiver note in here i would put vetiver in it so i took 10 drops of pure vetiver essential oil from madagascar and put it in here and i love it it completely changed this fragrance it's still very soapy. It still smells a little bit like a bar of soap, but it has like really, really beautiful vetiver in here. Now it actually has vetiver in here. Um, but this changed this, man, I love this fragrance now. I'm actually thinking about getting another um, Mugler cologne and doing exactly the same thing is adding pure vetiver oil in it. Man, it is so nice now. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really getting into like layering 
and experimenting with fragrances like blendings and layering and stuff like that. But anyway, tell me what your fragrance of the day is. And another thing I wanted to say before I get on with my review is I'm going to put some links in the description and in the comment section about this house, about laboratory perfumes. If you got a second, please read about them. They are a, I love this company. I really do. They do things a lot different from a lot of other houses, even some of the niche houses. I think they do better. Um, they are a niche house, but they are, I consider them an artesian niche house. I mean, they really, really care about their products. And no, I'm not getting paid, and I'm not sponsored by them. They have no idea who I am. Um, I'm just saying this because I love this company. But I think they are true artists, and I really think they care about their the fragrances that they produce. Um, they don't do them in huge, huge batches. They do them in smaller batches. They are very eco-friendly. Um, I just read about them and I think they really really care about their products and I can tell by every time I smell one of their products I can tell um, the quality in here they only use the highest quality ingredients so read about them if you got a second read about them I'll put the links in the description on where you can get um, on where you can find out about them and read about them I really like them but anyway let's get on with this review um, as y'all know, Gorse is the first fragrance I got by them, and I fell in love with Gorse so much, um, I decided to go back and try more of their products. Um, and the thing about this, if you decide to get the uh, Laboratory Perfumes Discovery Set, you get um, good size samples. They're like a 2 mil. I think one, two, three, four, five. You get five of their fragrances: um, Amber, Gorse, Samphire, Samphire, which I'm doing right now, Tonka, and Atlas. And I like these. Um, they get a generous um, sample. I think this is like two mil, and they actually have the sprayer, so you can actually spray it. And while I'm thinking about it, if you ever get samples from like Lucky Scents. Make sure you know this in, in, in advance. Lucky Scent samples are extremely small. They're not even a mil. They're like 0 0.7 mil, and they do not have sprayers on them. They are capped files. So if you ever get a sample from Lucky Scents, make sure you know that. Um, I hate those. I hate those little capped vials that they have because... It has no sprayer. You just have to open up the cap, and it's an open vial, and you have to like try to like get it on your skin without spilling any. And it's just I hate those things. But anyway, just know that if you ever go to Lucky Sense, Lucky Sense is a good company, but they have sucky samples. But anyway, um, Laboratory Perfumes, a British niche house. Um, they only do fragrances, but they actually do candles. The, the candles that they do are actually scented like the fra or like their fragrances. They have candles that are Amber, Gorse, Samphire, Tonka, and Alice, but they're still a niche company or a niche house. But citrus oils in the notes, lavender, verbena leaf, basil, rosemary, juniper berries, white amber, and oak moss. Now, what I get from this in the opening is lemon, but this isn't your ordinary lemon in your typical fragrances. This isn't like, this isn't even like if you cut up in a lemon and peel it back and smell it. It's not even like that. This is the lemon that's in here is more of a very strong, deep and rich lemon, like um, a pure essential oil lemon type of fragrance. Very strong, very deep and very rich. Um, that's what I get in the very opening. Um, a few minutes later, 
um, I start getting herbs. I get that basil and rosemary. And it's really, really nice with that kind of lemon note in here. And then when those herbs start coming in, it's very, very nice. Um, not too long after that, I get a little bit of lavender, not very much, but that little bit of lavender gives it a little bit of floral and a little bit of sweetness. The verbena leaf comes in and it actually adds to that lemon, but it gives it a little bit of earthiness to me. And I don't get much juniper berries, but it actually stays this way until the dry down and then you get that amber that white amber that comes in that really smooths everything out and you get the oak moss which gives it even more of an earthy woodsy smell to this fragrance and the thing about this uh um the citrus in this is a lot of citruses don't do not last that long but i think the way this is blended um and the kind of lemon oil that they use in here this lemon and even the herbs carry over into the dry down so in the dry down all these notes that i just mentioned you get in the dry down but instead of like the opening in the mid where they slowly come in all that all these notes are in the dry down and the dry down of this is spectacular this fragrance is perfect for spring and perfect for summer it's very fresh it's very clean. Um, those, those herbs and the verbena leaf and the amber and the oak moss and everything gives it an earthy, outdoorsy, grassy smell. This is perfect for spring. This is the one of the most perfect spring summer fragrances that I have. Everything in here is blended so well, and all these notes sort of like complement each other. Um, great, great combination of notes. Great blend. The quality is very, very high, especially with that lemon. I do not like lemon, but this lemon is something completely different. This is strong and rich and deep lemon. But the dry down of this is absolutely spectacular. I love this company and I still haven't tried two of these. I haven't tried the Amber and the Tonka yet, but this is a fantastic company and some fantastic fragrances. I like this Atlas too. This Atlas is very, very woody. Um, so I'm really happy to get this discovery pack from them. There is no way I'll be able to afford to buy a hundred mils of each of these. So I'm very grateful that this company has some you know sample packs that you can try just in case you don't like one you know what you can pick out the ones you like and if you decide to get a whole bottle you can but i'll put the link in the description on where you can get the sample pack um but so far i think i might like the gorse best this is like this is like better than virgin island waters um, actually a couple of other people have said that too um, and I agree with them I think this is better than Virgin Island water by Creed in several different ways um, I think it's it's more complex and the performance is better and it's more rich overall than Virgin Island water but anyway I hope you got something from this and um, I'll put the link in the description and the comment section about this company and I'll give you a link to the um, discovery pack too. This is actually pretty cheap. I can't remember exactly but I'll give the price above the link to this anyway. But anyway I will talk to you guys later and man that lemon's nice. I like I'm starting to like lemon now. Not all lemon but I like this lemon. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later, and see ya. Love you guys. Bye.